we have a block that is given a horizontal velocity v0 now it's kept on a rough surface and we need to find the mean power by the friction force and maximum instantaneous power if the friction coefficient varies with the distance as alpha x so in first part friction coefficient is constant so let's say it stops in time t0 work done by friction in this case will be simply change in its kinetic energy because all the kinetic energy is turned into work done by frictional force and work done by this total time t0 will give us mean power so while sliding the acceleration is constant and its value is kg so we can use our law of motion equation of motion v0 is equal to at0 and we get t0 is equal to v0 by kg so average power is total work done by delta t so is equal to change in kinetic energy upon t0 because work done external is equal to delta ke and delta ke is minus half mv0 square because initially it was half mv0 square and finally it was zero delta ke is minus half mv0 square divide by total time it took to stop which will give our answer now second case when it's at a distance x the friction coefficient is alpha x so, so when let's say its velocity is v when it has traveled to a distance x so its power is fv and the friction because we are asked the friction the power developed by the friction so force is frictional force so f dot v will be minus kmg into v and k is given as alpha x so minus mg alpha is constant here we have x into v so if i can find the velocity v as a function of x then we can find the relation between power and x and then we can maximize it so the velocity when it has traveled to a distance x we can find from energy so we'll do total work done externally is equal to change in kinetic energy so work done external here is only due to friction and that is minus of kmg dx when it travels to a small distance dx where k is alpha x and our limits will be from 0 to x y negative sign because the velocity sorry the displacement dx and the friction are in opposite directions so work done is negative so this is small work done so in integrate it to find total work done by friction is equal to change in kinetic energy see here the force or let's say the acceleration is not constant that's why we have to do it in a by integration here the things were simpler because friction coefficient was constant that meant the acceleration was also constant but here it's not so for a small displacement dx we'll write the work done then integrate to find the total work done by the friction that comes to be this so now we have velocity as a function of x so that will put here so we have found the power as a function of x and we need to find the maximum instantaneous power so we'll differentiate this and sorry when we do that we get x at x is equal to v0 by root 2g alpha we get dp by dx is 0 so when we put this value here we'll get our maximum instantaneous power which will be this our answer